Hey guys, it's the Solar Cloth here today, and so there's some Monster Legends leaks video with a bunch of new leaked mythics as well as some new leaked events. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Alright, so the first leak we have is for the Calrock Rage skin Conjuring, and it is going to be the emblem, and it looks very, very cool. I like the font that they picked, it just fits it very well. And then we also have an image with Calrock Rage skin right there, which yeah, his design looks really cool as well. And then we have a Gremmy's design right here as well, which also looks really cool in a different way. It looks more funny than cool, but yeah, I like it a lot. And then we have a new trait called Torture Resistance, which will basically just help you resist tortures. And yeah, it's a pretty good emblem. You can tell what it's doing. It has like a torture and then an arrow down. So yeah, pretty good emblem. And then we have some new relic slots. We actually have all of the relic slots down in a little bit, so we'll wait to talk about that. But yeah, Banner and Essence is very good. And then we have a Bruzard's design right here, which looks pretty decent. I'm not a huge fan, but it doesn't look bad. And then we also have a Gobzerker, which looks pretty good. I like that. And then of course we have Kalog Rage skin. And then we have his Awaken form too, which looks pretty cool. I like how he turns red. He just looks really cool in his Awaken form. And then we have some traits. So Gobzerker is going to have Harden, Immune to Torture, and Immune to Control, which is a very good trait. And then Bruzard is going to have Anticipation, Immune to Possession, and Self True Vision, which are okay. And then Moss Glen is going to have Immune to Torture, Immune to Poison, and Dodge Area, which is really good. And then Kalrock Raid Skin has Torture Resistance, Immune to Stun, and Taunt, and then Self Protect trait, which is pretty decent. And then of course his virtues are Double Damage and Triple Damage, which are both really good. And then we have the Monster Book Restrictions. If you want to know what books any of these monsters are going to be in, you can go ahead and pause the video here and just take a look at them. And then we also have all of the relic slots so color grade skin has armor and essence which are both really good bruzard has the staff and trap which are decent gobzerker has armor and sword albanessa has essence and a banner which is really good kalita has sword and mask which is decent mortal ming has staff and trap which is pretty good grummy has staff and mask and then moss Glen has a mask and trap which are also really good so yeah some pretty good relic slots right there and then we have an image for the uh, Calric Ray skin Conjuring, and yeah, it looks really cool. I do like this a lot. It has all three of the monsters that are going to be in it, and yeah, it just looks really cool. And then we have an image for the upcoming battle pass with Mortal Ming, which is going to be the brand new PvP monster. And then we also have one for the Legends Pass with both of the new Legends Pass monsters. And it looks like the free-to-play one is going to be the one that I like the design for, which is really cool. And also, I just realized this monster is electric in nature, which doesn't really make much sense. It's not even fire, which is really weird. But yeah, I guess that doesn't really matter. And then we have the checklist for season three. It is almost all confirmed now. We're just just missing the bounty hunt monster and then we have the checklist for season four with quite a few confirmed already which is really cool and then we have a bunch of chests for different leagues i believe that these are going to be for your team after each like team season or something you'll get a chest depending on how well your team did that would make the most sense for me since of course they are team chests so yeah pretty cool you can get quite a bit of stuff you can actually get ancestors out of this which is really cool but that is only if you get to legendary league which not many people will be doing but yeah if you can you'll get a free ancestor which is really cool and then we have that there is going to be an ancestor dungeon for calorog rage skin of course so there's one for every ancestor so that's not very surprising and we also have some more information on those team chests right here so you'll be able to get a random ancestor out of them which is really cool but it can only be griffiana iron wings theme tideborn or rover olden shield at the moment i I believe in that you'll probably have to wait a bit to get the new ones but these ones are probably the best ones anyway griffian iron wings is the best in my opinion so yeah that doesn't really matter too much and then we have a monster named update so baba bashir is now baba Shear, which is okay i mean it makes more sense probably i mean it's easier to say so yeah i guess that's better and then we have some more new chests so you'll be able to get monsters from certain books which is pretty cool and yeah those are all the leaks for this video let me know down in the comments what you guys think of all of these new leaks and yeah see you guys in the next one over to like share and subscribe goodbye